So today we're going to talk about the US M12 holster and uh, why I like it so much. Duty holster. Want to wear the fair roll. If you want to hear more, stay tuned. Howdy friends, welcome to another episode of the Rifle Tree YouTube channel. Today I uh, got some range time in and I tested out some new gear. And uh, new gear to me, it's not going to be new to many of you, especially those of you that have served in the US military. Uh, but today I went out and I tested out the M12 Bianchi holster system with the, uh, the model 92FS Beretta. And I got to tell you, I totally love this holster system and uh, I'll talk to you a little bit about it. There's the M12 Bianchi holster and there's also the uh, UM84 Bianchi. Now the the M12 is the is the external uh, overt holster that you see here. This may not show up very well against a green screen but we'll do our best today. And the uh, the model 84 Bianchi is what you see here. The <laughs> under the shoulder boulder holster uh, we're not going to talk too much about the 84 but I do want to talk about the uh, the uh, the model 12 so there are pros and cons to a holster system like this and um, obviously this is not a concealed carry holster <laughs> obviously uh, very very field expedient and it goes on the outside of your of your clothing um, so it's, it's exposed to the weather, essentially, is what I'm trying to say. It's exposed to the weather, and it's on the outside of your gear. So we'll, we'll flow, throw some, um, some imagery here in the background here of me shooting uh, the pistol and, uh, and using the holster in different positions and so on. Uh, so just a really quick review of it. I've seen a bunch of different reviews on this holster system, and frankly, I found them wanting. The simplicity of the holster is brilliant. In order to get it on your belt, you just unclip it. Just two spring tabs. Put the belt back on. Lower the tabs to where you want on the belt. You're done. Time to go kill zombies. First of all, pros and cons. A pro that I've observed of this holster is that it is very quiet. It, uh, it's easy to, to manipulate, <clears throat> to... Um, open and close very very quietly okay which I like um, it's very comfortable because it's it's not a solid holster much like most of the concealed carry uh, holsters that you see out there which are made of uh, Zytel or or plastic this will give and uh, there was one shooting position I just had to try because it's something I've done with concealment holsters in, in competition in EPSIC or an IDPA where you have to get down on your on your right side and before I know it at the end of the day you've got bruising all over one side of you because you just you just jumped on your concealment holster and it uh, bruises your hip or your ribs and so geez I'm not feeling too good <laughs> no problem with this um, so it is comfortable I'm not experiencing any bruising or anything to that effect in the hip or the, or the rib area uh, the the uh, the holster can attach for different pistol systems for example here where um, we've got the Glock 17 in the uh, in the holster. Let's see here. I wonder if the uh, wonder if the M&P 45 will fit. 
a little bit tighter. But yeah, fits just fine. So multiple pistol application. It doesn't have to be a Browning, or sorry, a, um, a Beretta Model 92 or an M9, like what we have here. This is what we were shooting today. It uh, fits beautifully inside this holster. Beretta 92, M9. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Fits multiple pistols. It is affordable. I, uh, I'm into the whole system. This is the, uh, the belt. Two magazine pouches. Um, it's just a, pretty much a bog standard. Um, two and a half inch web belt. The uh, M12 holster comes with a cleaning rod and uh, mag pouches for 75 bucks. And that's brand spanking new. Man, don't, don't forget, a lot of this stuff is on the surplus market now. The United States is going to different uh, pistol designs to replace the M9, the M9A1. I think they're going to remain in, uh, in, uh, on the scale of issue for a long, long period of time. But they are slowly going to start to phase out the Berettas. So you may see lots of these coming out onto the market. So affordable. There's a surplus market for these products. Or you can buy them brand new. They're, they're fairly common. Um, they're extremely tough and rugged. If you really look at them closely, they are a um, an insulated foam kind of uh, um, material, and the stitching is phenomenal. Uh, reinforced with uh, with different uh, uh, polymers and plastics and so on. Um, so your pistol will remain external to your to your kit to your system. It will remain ex uh, external, but it will be exposed to the elements, but not too badly. It's pissing rain today, and, and the pistol barely... The only time it got wet was in it when I was shooting it. So it is, ex is exposed to the elements, but not too badly. Um, some, of the, some of the cons. First of all, yes, it is visible. This is not a concealed carry holster system. Um, so it, it is visible. Um, it is relatively slow to one holster, especially... Uh, these magazines, these magazine pouches are, are w when there's some tension on them, it's much more difficult to get the magazine out. These uh, magazine system here, um, but it'll it'll fit pretty much any nine millimeter double stack uh, magazine. Uh, slow to unholster both the pistol and the magazine, but not too bad. Not too bad. It is a bit bulky, which means uh, you know you're, when you're walking, you're you're hitting it. you're hitting the holster in the magazines. Um, it's not uh, it's not it's, this is not a concealment carry system, folks. Right? It's going to be external. It's going to be visible. It's gonna, you're going to be bumping in, up against stuff, catching up against stuff, and there's no flashlight attachment for the holster um, for any you know attachments you might see on like for the Glock 17. Or the MP9 or the MP45, they have the option for having to, uh, attached a flashlight and so on. There's no, you can't use that with this holster system. So, but overall, uh, if you're going to be out in the field, if the zombies do attack, especially if, if it's just really crummy weather, um, you want to have a plan B. This might be a, a cheap alternative for you. It's certainly rugged enough. It's gonna, it's gonna do what you need if you need to just strap it on and go. Um, then this is uh, something you might want to seriously take into consideration. Additionally, you're not going to be losing stuff like in the mud or in the snow, which is even worse. <laughs> you lose your your pistol falls out of your holster. You're you're trying to climb a, a ridge or something like that, and it falls out and lands in the snow. It's gone. It disappears. Um, this is a system designed to stop that kind of stuff from happening. Is it still possible for it to happen? Yes, of course. Nothing is a is a. Um, every design has its own flaws, but you're going to seriously reduce the likelihood of this um, eventuality using the system. The other systems like the, the Safari Land uh, duty holsters, um, it's almost impossible to get the damn pistol out of the holster fast enough, and if you end up having to land on your back or on your side, 
these things they, they they stand out so far from your body you're going to be bruised and you're going to be you're going to be hurting at the end of the day using these duty holsters the uh concealment holsters again they don't give they don't have any give okay um but truth truth be known the uh, the Beretta 92 probably isn't the the pistol you'd be using for a concealed carry uh, system anyways considering the uh, the full size of it <clears throat> the full size of the pistol and uh and it's not a lightweight compared to say the Glock but I'll tell you today I ran uh I ran some ammunition through this thing that the Glock doesn't like and the Beretta ate it up no problem some really old hand loads that I got from an old hand um that was uh 124 um truncated cone bullets just cast bullets uh the Glock doesn't seem to like shooting them very well maybe it's because they're cast bullets the Beretta chewed it up no problem and we got some pretty decent groups today around two and a half inches at uh, 15 meters from the target this is just freestanding um shooting all right so it wasn't anything particularly fancy incredibly accurate pistol and uh i put three types of ammunition through it today some steel case 115 grain some uh, 147 grain um what was it blazer and uh those old truncated cone loads and uh shot it all great <laughs> what a great pistol big big and bulky and if if anything else you you've got a tool that you can hammer something with but uh what a great pistol great holster design hope you enjoyed that folks right for sure signing off hope we're all doing very very well and as always may believe that i think what you'll also get to uh come to understand with these holsters is that once you become familiar with them, opening and closing them in the dark, using gloved hands, um, trying to get your pistol inside the holster, you can do it. it you can do it blindfolded. In fact, almost every single time that you see here me unholstering and the holstering the, the pistol, I'm doing it looking at the target. I'm scanning the horizon, I'm looking at different things, I'm not looking, taking my eyes off the horizon or the different targets in order to get my pistol back into the holster. So it's relatively intuitive. Um, I can see that the front sight could fray the, the edges of the holster over, slowly over time. Uh, however, you know, it is what it is. I take that into consideration too. Well, got to remember that uh, two of those plates back there, they're already resting up against the dirt so they're not intended to fall over. So I keep shooting at them.